welcome to my video and today I just wanted to do a quick review and a quick demo of this shower gel by Lush which was released to celebrate the Beetle Juice 2 film. So this is called The Juice is Loose and um, the bottle has got really good designs on it as well and I have now used this quite a few times because um, I actually really like it. So ingredients in here, you have got red clover flower infusion, glycerin, perfume, juniper berry oil, sweet wild orange oil, carrageenan extracts, you've got some other bits, but yeah, those are the main scent notes. And if you don't know, on the back of each bottle or pot, it's got a sticker to say who made it when the product expires. And if you peel back the sticker, it normally has a little saying. So this one says, beetle juice, beetle juice, beetle juice. So this smells like a fizzy grape drink and it's really weird because when you use it, it actually sort of gives you that fizzy sensation as well. So it's amazing how they've done it. And my boyfriend has used this as well. He wasn't as keen actually. Um, he said he would give this a 5 or 6 out of 10. But for me, I would probably give this an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I really like it. The reason he wasn't so keen was the consistency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick demo of what it's like so you can see what he's talking about. So as you can see here, it's a lovely purple color. Okay, so if I pour it out into my hand, you can see it's got quite a strange consistency actually. So it's very, very runny. And what my boyfriend was saying is that when he was using it, a lot of it was just falling onto the floor because it, it sort of spreads out. Um, it's a little bit sort of gloopy, slimy as well. For me, I don't have that issue because I put it straight into my bath lily, so I don't lose any of it. But let me show you what it's like using it in the basin here. Okay, so I've just added some water. Um, so just pretend this is you know, like on your body, but you can see if a few bits do drop on the floor. So that was the issue that my boyfriend was having. But I really like this. If you put it straight into a bath lily or a sponge, then you don't really have that issue. And I really like how it feels on my skin as well. It left my skin feeling really soft and smooth. I absolutely love this scent as well. But you can see here, this is what my boyfriend was talking about. So he doesn't use a bath lily, he just uses his hands. So what I will do is I will plop what's on my hands into the bath lily, just so that you can get a true picture of what it's like foaming up with a bath lily. Okay, so I've just scraped up some off the basin as well. But you can see it lathers up really well. So my recommendation if you're using a shower gel is to use a bath lily or a sponge so you don't end up with that wastage. Um, but yeah, for me, oh, I think this works really well this way. So there you go, you do get lots of foam. And the other thing I would say as well is the scent on this is actually really strong. So I have just literally just obviously washed my hands with it just then doing the demo. And this scent on my hand will probably last for quite a few hours or until I wash my hands again. So the scent on this is strong as well. The scent does fill up the bathroom whenever I use it. And obviously it lingers on towels. This is a shower gel that I would definitely get a bigger bottle of. I think looking at the website, the largest size is now sold out. But if you like fizzy grape scents, then I would recommend picking up a medium bottle because I think you would really like this. So let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about it as well. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully I'll catch you on another one.